In this lesson, we're going to talk about Microsoft Kaizala, which is a communications app you can find in Office 365. Now, Office 365 already has Outlook, Skype for Business, Yammer, and Microsoft Teams as communication tools. So you might ask yourself, why do we need another communications app in Office 365? Why do we need another communications app in Office 365? Exactly. So Kaizala is similar in a lot of ways to Microsoft Teams, but it's also got its own unique characteristics. So there's situations where Kaizala can work better. In fact, there are some things that Kaizala does that are so good that Microsoft has started integrating them into Microsoft Teams. Microsoft says its plan is to combine Teams and Kaizala by 2021, but we'll see. Kaizala still has its own unique characteristics. So let's take a look at these. So let's start with the obvious. How is Kaizala similar to Microsoft Teams? Well, it's another tool that provides chat, audio calls, and video calls. It lets you communicate one-on-one -on -one or in groups. It works with Power Automate, which used to be called Flow, and some other Office 365 services. And it's also secure. The Kaizala Pro uses Active Directory, uses group policies. It meets most of the compliance requirements for different governmental agencies. It's got really good administrative controls. So in those ways, Kaizala is pretty similar to Teams. What makes Kaizala unique, though, is it was created for a very different market. So Kaizala was created to be a mobile-first app, so you can find the Kaizala app for iPhone and for Android. There's not, at this time, a PC or a Mac app for it. It was also designed to be very low bandwidth. So Kaizala was created by Microsoft India, and it was designed to work over even 2G wireless networks. So today we have 4G, we're getting 5G, but Kaizala can work over a 2G network which makes it especially good for developing countries and rural areas where you may not have good cell phone reception. The free Kaizala app will let you sign up with a phone number. You don't need to provide an email. It's a much simpler design than Microsoft Teams, and there are different types of groups that you can communicate in. You can have subgroups underneath larger groups where they receive announcements from the parent group but also have their own conversations. You can have broadcast groups where you can receive information from certain select moderators, for example, customer service reps, but everyone else can only interact with the messages that the broadcasters send. Kaizala can integrate with other software via connectors and a very easy API. Administrators can manage users via SMS messages or the management portal or also Microsoft Intune. And the biggest thing that's different about Kaizala are what we call action cards. So we're going to spend some time taking a look at those in just a minute. So let's look at how we get into the app. I have my iPhone here. It also works on Android phones. So when your company sets up Kaizala, you might get a text message or an email from an administrator with a link to download and set up the app. You can also just go to the App Store and download it. When you open the app for the first time, it'll want to connect to your phone number. After that, if you're using it with an organization, you'll also want to set up your Office 365 account. So the way we do that is we go into our profile. You can see I have an option to add a profile picture. I'll go ahead and do that while we're here. I'll choose one from the gallery, this one. You can see I've already added my phone number. There's a status, which is sort of like a Facebook status or a, a Twitter status. Here's where we can link our accounts. So I'm going to click on Linked Accounts and I'm going to sign in with my Office 365 account. And so now I'm connected to my Office 365 account. And being connected means that I can get access to some secure areas that might be set up by my organization, including my work groups. Notice that I can also sign out from here if I want to. So here I'm back on my profile screen. Let's look at what we can do with Kaizala. So first and foremost, it's a chat app. So when I go to the chat tab, here are all the people I've been chatting with, and notice that I can also chat with myself if I want to leave myself notes or information. But here's Aaron. He's someone else in the same organization. If I want to have a chat with Aaron, I have all the same controls you might expect I would have. I can send text. And I can also use, of course, the emojis. I can also send photos which wouldn't make sense right now. So I'll cancel out of that. Notice I also have this attach button here on the left. I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. The other thing I can do though is I can have an audio call or a video call. So let's try that with Ben. Ben couldn't make it to the studio today, so let's try to find him. 
I'm going to go to my People tab. Now, by default, this is bringing in people from my organization. If you've signed in with an organization account, it'll also check your contacts if you allow it to, to find the ones that have Kaizala accounts. And in this case, it's found several of my friends who have Kaizala, but notice how a lot of them say, hello, Kaizala, as the status. That's the default status, so if it says, hello, Kaizala, it might mean they set it up and never did anything with it. But here's Ben. I can click on him, and now we're having a chat conversation. Notice it's very similar to WhatsApp in that you get a check mark when the message is sent and you get a second check mark when they've read it. it says Ben Burris is typing. So we know he's there. Let's try a video call. I'm going to click on the camera icon in the top right. Hi, Ben. Good, we're just trying out the new Kaizala app. Uh, I can hear you, so that's good. That's a good sign. Can you see me? Yep. We can't see you. Hmm. Oh, i got camera turned off. Hang on a second. Ah, there he is. Hi, Ben. There we go. <laughs> hey. All right, well, we just want to try out the Kaizala app. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Bye for now. So everything you'd expect in a chat app, it's very similar to WhatsApp if you've used WhatsApp before. The other thing we can do, of course, is we can create groups. So back on my People tab, you can see at the top I have New Group, New Public Group, or New Broadcast Group. A new group is going to be private. It's just you and the members that you put in there. New Public Group is going to be accessible by anyone who can find it. So we'll choose a new group. We'll call this Test. Choose Next. Now I can add a picture to it if I want to. But let's uh, invite Aaron. And let's invite Ben. We'll choose next. So now we have our group. I can add a group photo if I want to. I'll skip it for now. I'll choose done. Awesome, our test group is created. Now from here I can choose to invite more people using my apps on my phone. Notice I also have a WhatsApp button. I can use that to invite my WhatsApp contacts. But I'll skip that for now. So I'll say hi group. And Aaron says hi back. Now one big difference between Teams and Kaizala, I can't have a group meeting. So in Teams, I could turn this into a group call or a group chat uh, or group video call, but I can't do that in Kaizala. What I can do is I can send a recording. So if I click and hold the microphone here, so now it's recording my voice, and when I let go, it's gonna send this to the group. So it's made the recording. I can play it back if I want to with the triangle, but I'll just go ahead and send it. And now everybody in the group has my lovely voice saying that I'm making a recording. Now I can also choose to join other groups. You saw that we could make a public group. I can join a public group. I can do that by going down here to Discover. And here I can search through all the groups that are available on the web. You can search for certain topics. So for example, I did a search for Office 365 and I found some nice Office 365 public groups. Um, it's not very robust. There's not topics for anything you might want. So for example, if I'm really into, uh, I don't know, Star Trek, there's actually no Star Trek groups on Kaizala. There are some other groups that have star in there, so it's not a social place like a Facebook or a Reddit. Let's go back to our chats. So two more things I want to show you before we look at action cards. One is, when I'm in these group conversations, or any kind of conversation, there might be certain things that you want to make sure you remember. Maybe it's somebody providing some information, an address or something. Maybe it's just something you want to make sure you come back to later. You can star that conversation to find it in your starred messages list later. The way I do that is I can hold down my finger on the message. You can see the first options I have are kind of the ones you'd expect. I can reply, copy, forward, or delete. But if I scroll to the right, one of my options is to star it. So I've starred that message from Aaron, but I'm still kind of in star mode. So if I click on other messages, those will also be starred. See at the bottom it says two are selected. I'm going to unselect the bin message, and I'll click on the star at the bottom to cancel. So I can find those later by coming back to my chat screen, choosing the three dot menu, and looking at my starred messages. And there's that hello message from Aaron.